If you find yourself in a situation and you have a lion in front of you, what do you think your chances of survival are? What about now? Before we start, today's debate is, which of these animals is the deadliest? A pack of wolves or a brown bear? And why? Let us know in the comments and the best opinions will be pinned. Animals that create groups for hunting purposes are called pack hunters. However, their groups might have other names such as basques, pods, clans, prides, and colonies. These animals have plenty of benefits from this method of hunting. A larger group implies that there are more chances of catching the prey, which means prey is bigger too and is protected by opportunists. But in the wilderness, everything has its downside. Although all members contribute to the hunt and have specific tasks, sometimes prey is not enough for every member of the group and unfortunately, this causes aggression and fights between them. A similar group organization is typical for wolves. A wolf bite that can go up to 1,200 PSI is fatal to a human, but the wolf is not as fast, flexible, and agile as a human. These mammals have specific roles based on age, gender, and skills. Young wolves don't take part in attacks but observe. Females walk around the prey to confuse it, whereas the males attack the prey because they're the strongest members of the group. The pack size is usually six wolves, and the attack is straightforward after the females surround the prey. The males bite it on the shoulders, arms, or in the back, and the average success rate is 14%. If you ever face a wolf, look him straight in the eyes. That way he'll understand that you are a threat to him as much as he is to you. Hyenas the bite force of a hyena is 40% more powerful than that of a leopard and 10% more than that of a brown bear. Usually, hyenas attack during nights and clans, which mostly has females and the number of the members depends on the size of the prey. The attack is usually done on the youngest or weakest prey and it's divided according to the group hierarchy. A group of hyenas can eat a whole zebra, including its bones, in less than half an hour. Success rate in the group is 74% compared to individual hunting, which is only 15%. Although attacks on people are rare, it's not impossible to become the prey of a clan that can reach 80 individuals on wilderness nights. If your idea is to run, you will be dead in 10 seconds. African Wild Dogs Humans have a stronger bite force than an African wild dog. However, the running speed of these animals can reach up to 44 miles per hour. These mammals are among the most organized animals in hunting. All members of the pack have the same function. They follow the prey and kill it for less than five minutes. The group can have from six to 20 members, and the division of the prey is not done according to the hierarchy, but according to the age, which means that the young are fed first. Because of this organization, African wild dogs are successful in 80% of the cases. It's a fact that wild dogs fear humans the most. However, a whole pack will be a fatal encounter that you wish would never happen. Killer Whales Besides humans, no other member of the animal kingdom can hunt killer whales. As it seems, we are not tasty enough to be a part of their menu. Orcas live and hunt in pods that can have up to 40 members, where everyone has the same role, although the hunting strategy differs depending on the prey being attacked. The prey is found via echolocation, which is the creation of sound waves that travel in the water. The orcas hunt can take days and it's up to 99% successful. People are not endangered by these killers, but if they confuse you with the seal, they'll cut you to pieces. Lions An average lion is three times heavier and has a bite force five times stronger than a human. A lion pride includes three to six individuals who can take the role of the wings, which means they surround the prey and push it towards the center, where the oldest and most powerful lion of the group usually stands. A single lion has a 19% success in hunting, however, this can increase up to 30% in pack hunting. The possibility of being attacked by a lion in the wilderness is huge, but whatever you do, don't play dead. If you do, you'll actually end up dead. Dolphins These mammals are 10 times stronger than the most athletic humans, and according to newer studies, they're the most intelligent creatures after humans as they use 30% of their brain. This intelligence is also proven by the cooperation of dolphins for hunting prey, which they follow by swimming 25 miles per hour, then surrounding it. A pod consists of 2 to 30 dolphins, and usually one of the members will always take the role of the driver. 
Dolphins use their teeth just to catch the prey as they never chew food but swallow it whole. Attacks on humans are possible if the dolphins feel anger or threatened, and in some cases, these have been fatal. So the next time you go to a swim with the dolphins attraction, keep that in mind. Unlike dolphins, some other animals, although neither hunters nor carnivores, live and work in groups. One such case is Cape Buffaloes. These giant creatures are 10 times heavier than humans and just as dangerous, and that's why they're called the Black Death. And big game hunters have included them in the Africa's Big Five group. A buffalo gang can have 30 to 200 members, usually consisting only of females and their calves as males join the group only during mating season. When angry, a Cape Buffalo follows the opponent and waits for the right moment to attack him with his massive horns which usually reach up to four feet. A proverb says that an elephant never forgets, while a buffalo never forgives. These animals are responsible for about 200 killings a year. While as a single buffalo can cause injury, a group of buffaloes will surely bring death. The best tip we can give is to climb a tree if you can find one. Bees A bee is 700,000 times smaller than the average human. But it has six limbs, five eyes, four wings, and can kill a human with a thousand stings. A bee colony consists of three types, workers, drones, and queens. The colony can have a maximum of 60,000 workers who are responsible for finding food and dividing tasks by age. Bees do not attack for no reason. If you intrude in their hive, they will consider you a predator, and they will send the whole colony to attack, and only 1.6% of the members of this pack will be enough to cause death. Do you want to keep the bees away from you? Never tease them or eat some garlic. From which of these do you think you have a better chance of escaping? Let us know in the comments. Here are two other videos that we've picked for you. Till next time, take care.